Nah. You ain't getting through that. Oh shit, he got through it. There are things I need of you. Things you may not understand and may not wish to do. But please do not make the same mistakes I did. My father, Howard, deserted me before I was born. I could claim the loss of my mother and the letter I received after her funeral blinded me to what I had to do. It would be a lie. Human nature sealed my downfall. My name is Philip. If we are lucky, then by the time you receive this, I will be dead. If fate frowns, we all perish. Hello everyone, my name is Melix, you guys are the audience, and this is Penumbra. This is going to be a long kind of episode, um, I'm going to try to extend this for a while, so okay, I'm going to turn on the volume because I can't hear myself talk. Alright, that's a lot better. Alright, so this is going to be a kind of a long sort of episode, I'm going to kind of drag it on a little bit. This is Penumbra. Mm, I'm not really that bad at action games, I'm pretty good. My story began in February, year 2000. All right, well, that's cool. So I don't know anything about this game. For my part in this allegory, I'm not going to make the same mistakes my father made. Howard vanished from my mother's life before I was even in it. So when he sent me a letter a few days after Mum's funeral, it was the first I'd ever heard of him. Pity he was dead. Writing from beyond the grave must be a genetic habit in my bloodline. His letter contained a key, instructions, please forgiveness, I figured that they don't have much use for absolution, so I turned to his prophetic passing, which he inexplicably expected to come any day. Clearly averse to explanations, my father preferred to leave directions to a bank on Mayfair I'd never even heard of. In that bank was a safety deposit box in his name, and myself as executor. Of course, I went as he knew I would. I discovered that despite the evidence, he'd been legally declared dead almost 30 years ago and said the old book and collection of notes I found had, in the eyes of the law, been mine all this time. Hmm. My father's instructions were to burn the documents, raise no further questions. But that was his error. No man's immune to the shameful trappings of curiosity, and my humanity got the better of me. The university I taught at was world-renowned for two things, physics and linguistics. I represented the first, and the man who stood for the second was stumped by my recent acquisition. The book was indecipherable. The notes, however, showed a location somewhere in uninhabited northern Greenland. It took me almost a year to book the last flight I'd ever take. As I watched civilization disappear along with Heathrow, I realized my father had disappeared three decades ago, almost to the day. And I considered in turn what it was that I was leaving behind. We landed on a strip of ice a few feet wide, and within minutes I was pulling away on a chartered boat, beginning the 12-hour journey that would lead me into my past. Alright, alright, sounds pretty good. So if you're wondering why there's a giant green cloth behind me, it's because it's a green screen. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to work, but I'm going to try it for this episode, and if it doesn't, then it's a nice background that you guys can see. Finally, we're almost docked. I'd better stow with my gear. I may be from home, but chances are I can still pick things up. Using left mouse, and I can take a closer look at things with using right mouse. Alright, so left mouse. Okay, that's weird. Alright, that's a little weird. It's a little janky, but I'll get used to it. Okay, I can do that. For the smell, I'd say there's an equal chance they use this chest for personal belongings or bait. I can try to open it. I can't get it open. Alright. Dearest Eric, just a quick note before you set sail and leave me once again. I've left you a little something to remember me by in the chest at the foot of your bed. I really don't know why you still only have one bed on board. It's taking ships because of it is no way to get your rest. But what does a fisherman's wife know of life at sea? I'll be preparing every night for you. Oh, this is a girl. I'll be preparing every night for you to make the catch you need so that you can come home to me safely and soon. Please don't be gone for five weeks like last time. I know I might nag sometimes, but I do love you. You know I'm washing over how fair is yours. Oh my gosh, yep, 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 alright. Okay, it's in my notes, what's this? I can't, how do I look at it? Okay, 
I'm certain this map's a good decade, decade or so out of date, but landmarks don't change much in Greenland. So we got pretty. I don't know. I've never been to Greenland. All right, I got this bottle. All right, Mr. Bottle, you're coming with me. Uh, what's this? Playboy poster. It's nice. Some things don't change, no matter how far you are from home. All right. Um. All right. Always good to have a notebook to jot things down, interesting information and reminders. I think I left my torch in the desk drawer next to the bed. It can be opened using my left mouse on it. Alright, so we got some camel chicken noodle soup. Let's get a... Okay, so that won't open. What do I got? My torch? Oh, there it is. Alright. Thank you. Alright, so I can use... Emergency glow stick. Should still be in the locker. I can't get it open. Always try with the padlock on the key preferably. Mine's in the inventory. Tab. Okay. How do I use it? Oh, okay. I put it in one. And then I tap one. And then I use it. Okay, so that's that's good then. Alright. Good thing I have F at hand. Okay, so G is for if I run out of uh, flashlight battery. But with all those, I don't think I will. Yeah, get going before dark. All right. Well, come along with me, Mr. Bottle. Hold on, Mr. Bottle. I'll let me open up the door first. Oh no, he's gone. As I stepped off the boat, setting out to the blizzard that had formed around me, I realized how utterly devoted I'd been to the discovery of my father's past. I had no idea what to expect. Soon enough, my concerns were justified. I don't know whether I lost my orientation, or my spirit first, or this frickin' voice I'm trying to do, but I lost feeling in my extremities soon after, and knew hypothermia was setting in. I started looking for a shelter. Alright, well, let's look for shelter. So... Yeah, I've decided to play this game. I'm gonna, these episodes are going to be a little bit longer so I can get through the games faster. I actually bought all three of these games for a, a small amount of money on Steam during one of their Steam sales. So cold. Don't know where I am. Need shelter soon. Alright, let's go. Let's go do it. My entire head went numb a long time ago, but I can still hear the wind roaring past. Or is that some kind of aminal in the distance? If I dick and hold the interact button... <laughs> I should just about manage. Oh, hey, look at that! One solid must break the ice. Uh, with what? With my? Can I jump on it? Uh, uh. Uh, is there a rock I can pick up somewhere to break it? Is there a rock back this way? Should I? Have, should I have gotten something from back here? No. Maybe. Oh, yep, here's some rocks. Pick up these rocks. Go over here and break the ice. Puzzle solving like a boss. Alright, so these games are supposed to be scary. They haven't been really that scary yet. Use interact mode. Some more accurately. Well, I didn't. But I still got it. Oh, okay. I have to actually, like, rotate it. I never did this before in a game. Okay, hold on. Oh, oh, okay. I just need to lift it up now. Alright, cool. Alright, awesome. We did it. There was no difficulty there. I'm good at games. fuck is that? What is that? I hear whispering. Where am I? What the hell? How? What? Jesus, my head. I can't believe I fell that far and survived. Although, looking around, maybe I didn't. What is this place? I didn't mean to fall. I was just trying to get the thing open. Okay, so we got barrels. Empty box of ammunition. What is this place? That's a great question. Yeah, it's more ammunition. Oh, here's a glow stick of some kind. A rash pack. Long past the cell date. Okay, so that's just a can. Hey, the hammer. Let's see if I can swing this hammer with I hold 
backswing, then pulling the mouse right, and then... Okay, okay. Okay, let's try that then. Let's put this in my number one spot. Oh, look at that. Yeah, like a boss. Boom. Boom. Okay, how do I switch and pick things up again? Oh, I could do that little lean, swervy swerve thing to the side to the side. I hope it's open. I don't know. Why don't you try to open it? Do I really have to, like, unequip this every time? There we go. Something in the way. Yeah, that thing is. What other way is there for me to go? Oh, what's this? Oh, I guess I can't read that. What other way is there for me to go? I mean... Unless I have to... Oh, I didn't pick that up. Unless I have to, like, break... Oh. Oh. I'm clever. I'm a clever man. Boom. 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 Got it. I'm a beast. I'm a beast at this. Ooh, what's this way? Ooh, what's over here? Ooh, what's over there? Ooh, exploration. I like this. Graphics aren't great, but I mean, I can explore, so that's cool. This looks like some kind of industrial mechanism, although there's a hole in the center and no way to operate it. Hmm. Whoa. 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 What's going on here, man? Is that like an earthquake, or is that a monster? Ooh. Spooky. Okay, how do I get... Okay, so I just have to hit two again, and then it gets rid of the hammer for me. Oh, hey, it's the place I was at. Cool. Is it, though? It is. Oh, I didn't break that. I didn't get that. There we go. So I don't really seem to need my uh, flashlight just yet. Is it supposed to be this bright in here? This hatch is seriously solid. It would open by hand. Someone obviously wanted to keep people out or in. Dun, dun, dun. Alright, let's see what's up in here. Oh, can't get in there. I guess I'll go the other way. Let's see what's over this way then, huh? We've already done that way. Whoa, 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 okay. So let's try this way. This is cool. Okay, so we've already gone there. So let's go this way. And we're gonna go back to where we were. Where are we supposed to go? Th this way? This way? That's... I think they all just lead to the same spot. Yeah, I think they all lead to the same spot. Alright, that was confusing. Uh, so what do I put in here? To operate it. Um... Okay, well I'm gonna... Get my hammer. Break it open. Bam. Nope, nothing in there. Gonna break this? Uh. Uh. Nope. Um. Oh! Hey, look at that. A metal rod. Hey! Hey there, metal rod. Let's pick that up. And we'll just place it right here. And then place it right here. And voila, we got ourselves a thing. Alright, we'll just rotate that and jump into the hole of doom. Whatever I was ascending into, it was a hundred feet below ground, protected by two solid metal hatches, located in a remote arctic wilderness, and buried beneath the snow. I didn't know what to expect, but it made me feel something I hadn't felt since I was a child. I'd never given it much thought before, but I realized that our entire society is a network of safety nets, emergency services at the end of a phone line, health and safety in the workplace, friends, family, lovers, all there. If something goes wrong, part of a carefully designed structure to prevent all but the most mundane of emotions. Once again, I felt like I did when I was in school, surrounded by a closing ring of 
older kids, knowing anyone that might help me. Friends, parents, teachers were too scared or too far away. All right, that's a lot of inner monologue for me. I've jotted down a note just in case. All right, you do that. I'm coming. This bottle's coming with me. Ooh, it's big in here. Could be anything living out here. Heroics are for Hollywood actors and fairy tales. I'm not taking any chances. If I face off against anything down here, I will last a second. Caution and stealth are my only defenses now. If anyone or anything hears me, I'll be, I'd be best off staying low and out of sight until I know whether or not it's a threat. Crouching by pressing left control will give me the chance to hide in the shadows. All right, cool. Okay, so I haven't really need anything else. Paraffin lamps. Looks like there's still some juice left. All right, well, I don't see anything to hide from just yet, so... Um... Maybe I should have looked at that map back there. Oh, I'm right there. Okay, so he doesn't say anything about the map. That's weird. It's dark down there. I don't really like that. It's kind of spooky, guys. Got my hammer. I got my trusty hammer. Hand me the hammer. It's here to help. Okay, so these crates don't break. So I can jump on them, though. So if I need to hide or have something not attack me, I can just jump up on the crates. Oh, this is just black. Do they know about this? Okay, he doesn't say anything about it. So, so that's good. Okay, well, it looks like I was supposed to break that, but it's not uh, not letting me. I'm going to just bang this up against it. Bam! Breakdown! Breakdown! No. Okay. Um, alright, so that's cool. This is a very complex set of tunnels. Ooh, this is scary. Office. Alright, let's see what's in here, guys. Interesting, interesting. Sunlight. That's nice. That's refreshing. It's locked. I need a key. Uh-huh. Typewriter dates back even further than the war. Made in Germany, 1923. So World War One is what we're looking at here. Another remarkable weekend in Greenland. I don't. What's a Greenland accent? I don't. I don't know. Is it like Swedish? Kind of, I guess. Another remarkable weekend. Week in Greenland. Weekland. Regular supply shipment received. Standard emergency drills carried out. Routine runaway maintenance completed. I have ordered maintenance to be carried out twice weekly from here on due to decrease snowfall. Um, I have now locked up that manual. In the okay, so what? What do I? I take partial responsibility for this and that. I blow up the case. The demolitions manual. We keep this demolitions manual, and I'm sure that will be left ingredients. Okay, I've now locked up that manual in the chest in my office, and I will keep the key in my person at all times. Uh, but where does he have the key? Is what I'm trying to figure out. Okay, it's basically so we disconnect. It feels it's work then. Okay, 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 okay. okay. One point appears to some kind of archaeological find. One artifact buried in the earth and discovered by one of the work teams. Later this evening, after martial duty, I shall take a closer look at the artifact. It appears to be man-made and may have working parts inside. I shall remove what looks like the front cover and see if I can't discover the source of the light. It's constantly emanates from it. Don't think that told me where he keeps um, the key, but I do know why I want the key now. Oh, I got backstrung. Okay, so I assume there's nothing in there. Oh, there it is. Copenhagen Post. Uh, researchers at the University of Copenhagen have suggested that mind-altering chemicals naturally sown into the rock may be the cause of high suicide rates in Greenland Mine. Alright, alright. High suicide rates. Got it. And the key is what I wanted. Alright. I wonder what kind of monsters are in this. Is it like amnesia monsters? That'd be cool. That would be so cool, guys. Sup, cool guys. Alright, um... Alright, duh! I need to probably equip that first. Okay. Give me that backstring. Big book of explosives. Oh, no, it's just a... So I need a string, black gunpowder, and I already got the backstring. Um... Okay. Is there anything in here? 
before I continue on. Oh, what was that? Beef jerky. Well, that's not exactly what I wanted, but I guess it'll work at some point. What's that? What is it? I want to grab it. Let me grab it. Painkillers. Alright, so that means that I'll be getting hurt at some point. Okay. Oh, right. There's another drawer over here. Oh. More beef jerky. You can never have enough beef jerky. In my opinion. In my opinion, never enough beef jerky. Um, I think I'm done with this room then. Am I? Oh, what about this? This thing looks interesting. Oh, that's the thing he was working on. Oh, good thing I didn't miss that. A man, an old man, clutching something unseen. He is strange, and yet he is no stranger. Never seen before. Still, I know. This man before me is Howard. I call him my father. Interesting. Ugh, what the hell? What just happened? I don't know if that was such a good idea. Oh, ho, oh. ho. Alright, well, that's weird. Guess it sees, helps you see stuff. Ooh, don't freak me out like that. Ain't nothing happening. Oh god, there's something else down here with me. Just... Oh god, it's a wolf. It's a fucking zombie wolf. Oh, stay away from me, zombie wolf. I got my hammer. I'm not afraid to use it. Jesus, I've never been this scared in my life. I can feel my heart racing. If anything goes, gets it within more than a few feet of my hiding spot, I better not stare it out. Anything with my field of vision might panic me, and then I'm a goner. Okay. I don't see it. Large wooden box. Well, that's rad. Where is it? Where did it go? I don't even know where I want to go. Where am I headed? I don't know where that thing went. Where did it go? I'm scared, guys. What do I need? What am I doing? I don't know my purpose anymore. We're just kind of exploring, but now I like feel like I need to have a place to go. Is this where I came from? I think it is. Ooh, 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 what was that? I heard it. I heard it growl. Shh, be quiet. The doggy's gonna find us. Okay. Nobody move. hear it. I hear it, but I don't see it. So I'm going to keep moving. Where was it earlier? Where was it hiding earlier? I don't see it anymore. But that doesn't mean I'm going to get up and start walking around, because I know it's around here somewhere. I keep... Ooh. That sounded close. Is it around this corner? Better not be. Nope, it's not. Is this the office again? Nope, this is a storage room, which I might find what I need here. All right, cool. Let's let's uh let's get out of here. Uh, let's get out of from that. No, don't feel like messing with that guy right now. Especially that I don't have a gun. Ooh, that was loud. Squeaky squeaks. Squeaky squeaky squeak. What's that? Is there a dog in here? The lighter was. I hear a dog. I hear a dog. I don't know which door he's in, though. Well, that door has, like, scratch marks on it, so I'm assuming he's in that one. It's locked. Locked from the other side. It doesn't mean there's still someone inside. I can hear chattering. Oh, it's supposed to be chattering, not dog noises. It just kind of sounds like dog noises. Okay, what's up with this one? Hello. Alright. Let's see what this does for me. It was different, but the same. That time, like, I had more control. But over what? That's a great question. It's a lot of beer. It's a lot of bottles. But, you know, those Germans, or Greenlands, or whatever. Whatever it is that's here. Boom. Maybe I have to push that? Push one of these? Okay, let's do this. Boom! 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 Oh. Boom! 
No? Hmm. It's definitely supposed to get in that door. What's in there? Ooh, that's, that's creepy. I see something in there. It's a crudimentation of a scorched, writhing spider. Hmm. That's weird. Okay, so the only room that I can get into is this one. And the only thing in it is this box. So let's see what's underneath this box. How about that, guys? How about that? Cash me outside. How about that dead meme? Ba bam. Ba, ba bam. This trap drum must lead deeper into the rock, some kind of basement. Boom. Check me out. Check me out. Ooh, that's whispering. It's getting super close. Alright, you protect me, box. Protect me, box. Oh, fuck, what is that? Christ, was that a spider? I don't like spiders. Well, neither do I. Let's not mess with that. Oh, look, the ladder. So that's how I'm gonna get out. Don't fuck with me, spider. Why are there spiders in the Glacier in Greenland? That seems a little odd. But I guess, why is there a zombie dog? You know? Not everything has to make sense in this world, I suppose. Oh, okay, so I don't have to crouch. I can stand up. There we go. So if I need to get out, I can do that. That's just precautionary. Alright, let's get my hammer out and I'll start whacking some... Whacking some people! Ooh. That's a dead dog. Horrible sight. Luckily it's mummified or else the smell would have been awful. Oh, okay. That means that those spiders are no joke. Some sort of diary entries. We'll pick it up! Oh, right, I have to get rid of the hammer first. I begin this record still in the hope that the great work we have to undertake in here might one day be scientific value. Despite the chaos which has ensued in the six hours previous, my aim is to remain se secure. So what happened there may be arrives to that. To what help there may be arrives into that end. I have barricaded myself with a small workshop area in the abandoned part of the mine. The meager food rations here will keep me alive, and that was I had jeopardized that. Okay. Forecast the day the rescue workers would arrive, but I can only have other sides that they wouldn't be unaware of my location, and hence busy themselves evacuating the other survivors. If they have not arrived by tomorrow, I'll go out in search of them. Oh my goodness, this guy is talking a lot. Okay. Um, the key for which I still have my pocket. Um, so he has that thing in his pocket. Whatever it is. Dry, dusty old bags. Okay. Oh, I see a letter over there, too. Did I already read that? Ooh, what's this? Sim oh, oh. Okay. Death is the final unknown. Alright, well, I guess I should have seen that one coming. Ooh, what the fuck happened there? Is that me? Must have been me. Alright, let's uh, skip ahead to when I have this ladder back. Oh, there was more to this than I read. Um, this place is a maze. Wait, I discovered this within that area. I discovered this storeroom. I think it might kept me safe. Okay, so I'm in the storeroom. Um, rescue seems increasingly unrealistic. Supplies have initially lost spiders in this place. I do not like spiders. I caught one of the cursed eight legged beasts nestling in my open mouth when I woke up this morning. Ew! In my surprise, I swallowed it. It's not so much the act of swallowing which concerns me, but the genus. Genus of arachnid. It would be unlikely that a cave dwelling spider would be venomous to any significant degree, but the possibility troubles me at the same time. Any known venom would have affected me by now, and so today is the first minor cause for celebration I have had since the incident. But lucky coincidence, this revelation also means I have discovered a virtually inexhaustible supply of nutrition. I intend to venture into the basement beneath the storeroom in the name of science to discover more about these creatures' natural habitat. In four days now, I have been surviving solely off the quiet considerable sustained sustenance provided by the spiders. For some time I was struggling to gather enough of the crunchy little morsels, however light Lady Luck smiled on me once more when the batteries in my torch died, they made a second life saving fine. The creature's apple habitat is the dark, and my light now diminished, I need only life for still for a few minutes and I will have attracted enough of the beasts for a rather hearty meal. Alright, so we got this guy hiding in the dark, eating spiders. That's cool. Um, that's an interesting plot development, that, uh, interesting character development, I should say. Okay, so, make a comment on that. Seem to blister a frustrum bone instant. I know I've seen it happen. So let's go around that. 
Can I? I don't think I can. Nope, this is a dead end. Can I use this to, like, smash it? Can I use the hammer to smash it? Is it, like, timed? Okay, it is timed. I just have to do it at the right time. Oh, hello, what is this? If I weren't for the size of the pieces, I would say it looks like eggshells. Hmm. My earlier assumptions on the benign nature of my cellmates may have been and made an error. After a careful autopsy, I am concerned that there may be a small volume of natural chemicals stored in the stomach, which, if adjusted regularly over a period of time, may become psychotropic or even lethal. My only main chance is to break out of here and raid any stashes of supplies I can find. However, the evidence against such a move is insurmountable. I have no source of light. I swore to myself I wouldn't leave until I heard human voices outside. Spiders are so tasty. The marks I've been making on the walls and my scribbled, scribbled diary entries, which in the dark may amount to a knowledgeable scrawl, today is the hundredth day of my new life. Past month, my edible friends have become more and more aggressive in a small number in size. All right, so this guy's crazy. For all great service, time to consume their adventure. So I'm assuming this guy kept eating spiders, and then eventually the spiders were like, "You know what, dude? We're just gonna eat you." And so they did. Woo! Don't shake on me, man. Don't, don't shake on me. Shake it off. Shake it off. All right. So what am I looking at here? Uh, I can open the lock with the lock intact. Can I break it? Boom! Did it! Called it! Okay. What's in here? Batteries. Um, that looks important. But I guess it's not. Uh, fluid lighter gas. Okay, so let's, uh, let's take this and put it with Nope. No, I want this and put it with this. There you go. Ready to burn. Burn, baby. It's a Zippo lighter. I guess they were uh, sponsored by Zippo. What is that? That's gross looking. Okay, nothing behind here. Okay. Uh, let's take this. Can we take this lock with us? No. All right. So that's all we needed from this was the. I guess I could turn off the pipes from here, can't I? I can. Sort of can. I mean, I have the option to, but can I actually? Okay, cool. So we turned the nails off, and now we're on our way back. Which is awesome. We already went down that way. Those are the eggshells and the note. Um, I think we've seen everything there is to see here. Okay, I went down that way. Right? What's down here? Yeah, that's just a long way around. Um, that's a dead end. So I think we've seen all we need to see here. Alright, spiders in small places. I didn't see any spiders. Oh, snap. What is going on? What the hell is that? Why is there blood over here? What's going on up there? Are you guys okay? You okay, dude? Is everyone okay over here? Oh, he is. He's definitely not okay. I think someone's been dragged through here. I've never seen so much blood before. That was my best chance to get some answers. Who else is still down here? I don't know. Let's check out this room before we check out that room, though. Um, well, there's the key. I assume it's the spider guy that was... Oh, oh, oh. All right. Day 200. It has been some time since I recorded any findings in relation to the spiders with whom I have shared my existence for the past eight months, partially due to my enforced retreat in the basement territory. Not too long ago, their behavior became overly aggressive, and so I have attempted to barricade the main entrance to their lair. I secured myself within one of the smaller rooms above it, the only one with an operational door lock. The other reason is that I have been recovering from a minor operation, which I was forced to conduct myself without the aid of an aesthetic. Um, couldn't afford to be less. Uh, what kind of, what kind of surgery would you do yourself? Simple amputation of a non-vital organ. I began to notice a thick glue-like substance forming on my tongue, and was forced to accept that I had become infested, and I had become infected through constant toxin ingestion. Interesting. So you cut off your tongue. That's cool. Simple enough. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. All right. Let's see what's in this door. 
You, you okay in here? Oh, gross, a spider. Largest spider I've ever seen with its gut carved open. Okay. That's... This is a weird room that doesn't really make any sense. Let's see what's in this door. Oh, he got dragged. He got dragged. Right through that hole. This hole is large enough for a man. Not that I'd go anywhere near it, even if it was. What borrowed out this tunnel? I like this main character. He's he's pretty he's pretty like Yeah, I'm not gonna do it. It sounds stupid. <laughs> I'm 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 too much of a pussy. I don't wanna do it. Oh what's this? Oh, it's his tongue. Maybe an animal tongue. Yeah, it's the guy's tongue that he cut out. I'm just gonna carry on this tongue. Tonguey! There we go. Let's put the tongue in there. There you go. You can uh, you can grab that whenever you want it. It's available for you if you ever want it. You ever want it back? All right. So, I wonder if anything's different out there. Oh, I got this key now. Where does the key go to? I don't know. What did he say he had a key for now? He had a key for something. Um, let's move this. Nope. Alright, well, making my way outside. Walking fast. Spiders pass, and I'm homebound. Okay. Oh, right, dog. I forgot about that dog. Gotta be careful. We're walking, we're walking. Making sure there's no dog. If there is, I'll probably freak out, dog. But I'm talking about dog with the D A W G. Ooh, ooh, why am I not moving? Why am I not moving? Move! Move! That, that means that scary dog was way too close. Where is he, anyways? What's over here? Workshop? That sounds nice. Okay, so the workshop is like. Well, you know what I should do? I should. Put this somewhere. Nope. What, um... Why does he keep doing that? Where is this dog at? He must be really slow, because I have not seen him yet. What is this a key to? Old key. Hmm. Where is there a place with a locked door? Um, the office? Did the office have a locked door? Where is this dog? It's like the music's scary and creepy, but there's no dog. Office. Well, I guess here's the office again, so let's check it out. If it did have a locked door, then I have the key to it. It didn't, but it has a locked chest. Well, it doesn't have a locked chest, because I already unlocked that. Ah! My plans were foiled again by myself being dumb. So what, what does it say in my notebook to do? To-do list. Found a locked door in the middle of the mine. Just as the cave is caved in, there must be another way out. Locked door? Where was that at? Should I try... Was that board supposed to be a door? Is that what was going on? Should I have used the key on that that hovering board over there? I mean, I'm freaking out because I think he's there, but I don't see him yet. Okay, so that was a door, somehow. You could just close, stay closed. That'd be cool. Okay, so there's TNT over there. TNT. That'd be a good idea to block the door if that dog creature's back there. I don't want it sneaking up on me. Okay, so let's do that then. Ah, let's get this barrel. Let's block this door. Ooh. Yeah, you ain't getting in that. Nah, way, Jose. Nah, way, Jose. Nah. You ain't getting through that. Oh, shit, he got through it. Oh, my God. Okay, well. It's time to freaking book it. It's time to book it. It's time to book it. Workshop. 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 
Ah, there's a code! Ah, there's a code! I'm scared to end this episode because I don't know when it last saved, but I assume it last saved when I opened up that door. But I don't want to be too sure because it doesn't really tell me. Okay, so that dog busted right through that, uh, that defense that I had. Wasn't much of a defense. Anyways. Okay, so he's around here somewhere. Is there anything back here? Oh, oh, and I broke it. Alright, is there anything over here? Yeah, there is. No feel exits. Caved in. I love my workshop, but it's too great a hunting around to let other gorge. Two, oh, ha, ha. Two, one, four, eight. Two, one, four, eight. Remember that, guys. Two, one, four, eight. When I get that door open, then I will end the episode, because then I know it has to save when I do that, right? There's no save feature, so it has to save when I get a door open, right? Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Two, one, four, eight. No, I. That's what it was. Was it two, four, one, eight? Do I have that note? I think I have that note. Notes. Uh, favorite workshop. Two. One, four, eight, backwards, ha! So eight, four, one, two. Oh, that's clever. That's a little bit clever. Uh, so eight, four, one, two. Yeah, boy! How we doing now, boy? Alright, this looks fun. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and share with your friends. And welcome to my Penumbra adventure. I hope this all ended up nice, and I hope it all goes good in post. And I will see you guys in the next video. Ta-ta! Did it really save all the way back here? Oh my gosh. That sucks. I did so much. Oh, here. Maybe it's this one. Yeah, that's right. That should be right, at least. It's not. Oh, well, that's that. That'll be good enough. All right, that'll be good enough. I'll, I'll remember that. All right.